Hi everyone, this is Suvarov. We are back today for um, a video on, uh, uh, I think, a tiger <laughs> uh, mistook my villagers with some uh, whiskers. Um, cat food, I mean. Um, so I will talk about the campaign today. Um, what I mean by that is uh, basically what you all you can find here. Um, so first off with the main campaign. The main campaign is one of the best place uh, to upgrade your heroes because basically uh, if we check a look at uh, the reward that we can get, um, it's obvious. Uh, it's really obvious that you will get lots of mats for your heroes and especially this one. Uh, Johan of Arc, Jeanne d'Arc. Um, also, once you unlock um, with three stars uh, one of the levels, you get the daily rewards. And it means that if you go here, this is what I get daily uh, for being here. Um, so that's quite interesting because then we'll have some currency here and with that I can buy badges so I could buy Yon of Arc but right now I'm not on Yon of Arc I'm on Sunday Arc and so I'm buying 40 badges over every day which let me upgrade her quite quickly um, so it's very interesting. Um, for the fight, you just click start, then you have to um, choose your armies. Um, right now, it won't be very good because I don't have bonuses, um, and it's better to go in the fight with, uh, you know, uh, a troop size bonus. But I don't have one to spare just for that. Um, so basically, too bad. I will not do it. Um, and this one will go with blue guy. Okay, we are set up um, all our matches. So now we can start the battle. And as always, what I don't like is that you don't even have time to give any kind of orders that you are already into the fight. But uh, let's do it still. Um, we'll finish off the cavalry, then go on the range troops that are attacking me. Okay. On the range troops, then I will hit the range troop here. Yeah, the range troop. Uh, I want to hit the, um, the smallest forces, basically. And also, by hitting those on the left, I will not trigger those ones here. And the idea why I want to pulverize this one first is that you will go, um, you will go fast, and so it will let me then concentrate on the main force without uh, any, uh, the pincer attack on me uh, while I concentrate on him, uh, because I do not like <laughs> the pincer attack. Um, but yeah, uh, you really need, for those levels, you really need to go with uh, a bonus, a size bonus. Right now, you will see that we, we, we won't get many stars because um, I'm getting too much losses uh, from the fight already, taking too long. Um, while with uh, full marches, uh, full upgraded marches, uh, it will be quicker, easier and 
I wouldn't have any trouble. Then we can move on to the next. I will prepare the next attack. But basically, you always want to do concentrate your forces on one march. We basically lost half uh, the army. So no treat for us. <laughs> it, it is bad. Oh, we were still in the time. We were still in time. But uh, way too much losses. Um, but basically it's how you want to do it. So um, before you join, uh, what you need is to use a troop size bonus and a troop uh, attack bonus. So in order to not waste those bonuses um, just for the campaign, which is seriously annoying, um, I suggest that you uh, you may use them anyway when you do Thermopylae and so um, use them for Thermopylae and after the Thermopylae you can just uh, play it because it will still be ongoing for a few hours and so you can push your campaign after you push Thermopylae or you can do it um, anytime that you have used a size bonus and then uh, after you finish your main thing um, if it's still ongoing, uh, this size bonus and these buffs uh, of attack, you just come to the campaign and you rush the campaign, basically. Um, in some levels you will see uh, towers. Um, just hit the tower first, uh, get rid of the troop inside because they will hit hard and they will hit you right away from the start. You don't even start playing that they are already firing at you. So you need to get rid of the troop inside the tower so that the tower isn't such a deal then. And then you can kill the other troops. Um, do not bring artillery, to be honest, just bring troops. And at first you will get maybe one or two stars um, come back later with better troops and you will destroy them. One thing to know is that all the troops that you have ever trained will be available uh, here. Um, they don't take into account your losses. They only take into account the troops that you have trained. Um, so that being said, uh, that's all I wanted to show you about the main campaign. Then we have the real Modisade is at war, the hero trial. Hero trial, you basically um, fight uh, one of the main heroes. Um, most of them are not even here, are not even listed. Um, those heroes, they will be using their skills to try to kill you. Uh, and if you kill them instead, you will get some mats, some a few speed up. Rewards are not that great, but uh, hey, this is completely free to play even, so um, no problem with that. Um, you can rally uh, with your friends when you have trouble in those things. Um, you can do it on your own, starting with level 10. The legendary ones um, can be done with two troops, um, which can be one troop and one heal or two troops. Uh, one small trick uh, to get some buffs is, uh, sorry about my dog, uh, one small trick um, to get some buffs is bring, um, for example, a march with um, Cleopatra and um, uh, Yon of Arc, set it up next to the hero that you are about to attack with another troop uh, on which um, you must set your priest uh, to to heal so that basically it will trigger the rage skills uh, which will be uh, an area 
army buff, cavalry buff, and this kind of stuff. Um, and it will benefit your troop as well when it will fight inside the circle. So uh, it's a small trick, but it works and it's interesting to do. Um, that being said, um, and I will do a video tonight. Um, I will not be able to do it this morning, but tonight I will show you uh, some of the heroes. Uh, I will polarize some of them. Um, okay. So next we have the hero showdown uh, where you want to prove that you have a bigger one. Um, basically here, for what I have witnessed, it's the realm of cavalry. Um, because cavalry heroes are, well, they are just way stronger than any other heroes. And so when you go with cavalry heroes, um oh, that's one of my viewers. <laughs> um I'm sorry hash <laughs> but it's just to show <laughs> Oh no um but okay let, let's just check how the fight is going So basically troop are rushing people are fighting Deaths are being counted by dozens. And basically, um, the special attacks are super duper powerful. Um, um, they will deal more damage than the second by second damage, um, and they basically are the ones which will decide the fate of the battle. So it's all about bringing heroes that can hit pretty hard. And so we'll just hit people pretty hard. Uh, all the next battles I will just skip. Because we don't care, honestly. Um, I just want to be able to uh, reach one of the first guys. Um, and the, the might doesn't mean anything, uh, really. Uh, King Dave had more might. Uh, he 10,000 10, more might uh, here and it didn't help him very much. Uh, Rollis, I don't know him very much. But thank you anyway. Uh, King Kyle. Let's rock and roll. And let's do one last attack against King XX11111. Okay, ah, at last I'm back into the rank, and now I will be able to attack those two guys relentlessly uh, until I'm rank one. <laughs> um, so, basically, uh, all you want to do in Hero Showdown is to have, uh, if, you, if you are a cavalry hero guy, um, use the combos uh, between um, someone who can debuff defense and a big hitter. Uh, you don't even need to have them awaken. Uh, you just need their main skill, uh, the rage skill. Uh, for example, this one, it just has the troop size uh, at 3, I think, and then he has the rage key at 5, and that's all. Uh, here is is almost uh, finished. He just, uh, he's just missing one point of skill, um, and I'm waiting for uh, VIP 12 to buy the pack, 
and get him awakened this way. Um, so I won't be using any more uh, generic badges for him. Um, and this one hits at uh, 1000. Um, so I'm using him. Um, and for example, I'm not using... Uh, here it's a mistake because Alexander is not that strong. Um, but um, yeah, he still it's stronger than blue guy. Uh, so I will not be using blue guy here. But yeah, what you want to do is really to have uh, big hitters. Uh, and some buffs as well. Uh, Yuan of Arc is all about um, pushing your cavalry attack and so she will buff everyone in the area. Um, because the area where they will fight is here, it's pretty small. Um, and so she will uh, have a big circle um, and she will be able to give buffs to pretty much everyone. So it is an, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's honestly, I don't really like it. Um, I, I do it a lot on this server because, uh, I have fantastic heroes and that I finish my weeks first every time. Um, because now, uh, before this guy was able to withstand my attacks and now he's not able anymore. Um, I will kill him every time. Then we have the Legacy of Thermopylae. Uh, Legacy of Thermopylae, for those who don't know, it's a quite small map uh, just for PvP battle where you don't lose real troops. Um, troops will go into your infirmaries. Uh, you can uh, cure them during the battle, but it's not recommended uh, because we are talking sometimes about days and days um, of healing. And when you come back, to your kingdom, uh, you don't have anyone left in your infirmaries for free. Um, so basically, it's a place where losses are fake um, and it's just fun and the rewards are super cool. Uh, the only thing is you need to be playing with your friends, not to be playing on your own uh, like rushing somewhere alone, uh, it will never go well because all of the strong teams that win, they win because they stay together. They don't rush alone, uh, they stay together um, or in groups. Uh, but yeah, uh, and that's what you want to do. And um, here my team is not doing it and we get wrecked. When you when we find a team that is just a little bit ready, so you have uh, until basically Friday very early morning, just after the reset, uh, to set up your teams, and then there is a matchup. So right now we haven't signed up yet. You can sign up two teams from your alliance, thirty people by team, and you need an R four in each of the team. Um, that being said, the last place is the homeland defense. Um, so it's basically defending your turf just with heroes uh, because uh, your troops are lazy and they don't want to fight. Uh, and so they decided to let their leader fight alone against waves of enemies. So um, here you can see we have a counter thing. Um, and the numbers are increasing slowly. And when they increase, it will let us use the skills that require a certain number um, of those points to be used. Uh, most of the troops are just, you know, basic troops that just get wrecked uh, every time. And then you have big ones here. Those are the leaders, those are the ones uh, you must be, uh, you must uh, take care of, basically. So then uh, you have to use the skill according to what they can bring to you. Uh, for example, uh, I have a skill which basically draw 
people toward it and one which will uh, lock them in place uh, and deal damage. Um, and so that's a nice combo um, and you want to be using those combos uh, as much as you can. Um, and so that's it, you can destroy them. Um, note that it is based on uh, the level of your heroes, uh, the skills of your heroes, um, the battle skills of your heroes are completely irrelevant. Um, they have special skills for the homeland thing and it's all about the level of your heroes. If they are level 60, uh, they're f maxed out, basically. So um, check the skills. If you find a hero that you like, push him to level 60 because um, then you can use this skill at maximum power. Um, and the differences are quite huge between, uh, for example, level 59, which will make uh, all skill level 3, and level 60 with all skill level uh, 4. Okay, so I'm locking him in place, uh, doing damage to other people around. Okay, I'm letting them attack just a little bit. Now I'm drawing them. We can be using this guy just to show he, it's boring to use, to be honest. Okay, I can do. Um, so on those kill, I uh, can one shot one of those big heroes. The only problem with his skill is that it takes time. Sometimes um, it's a little bit messy and. While you are aiming and firing, uh, the fight continues. That's the truth. The fight continues. And you can end up losing a fight because you were trying to mess up things. Um, well, to do things the right way, but you did mess up. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so it's how it is. And here you will be getting resources, speed ups, and a little bit of uh, XP. Um, completely worth it, uh, it's free to play, you could bring only purple heroes, it does work perfectly, um, you can really advance with purple skills, uh, with purple heroes, um, and basically I am using purple heroes skills, mostly Ivan, which is um, like a gravity wall, uh, so an area um, where you set up which will bring all villain in this area and then I use an area attack um, to deal damage so here for example we will see all the heroes coming to the same place and now we can lock them in place with the skill of Timur and deal damage as well so it's pretty neat pretty nice uh, then we can for example uh, kill the elephant here. Uh, oh, it's not the elephant. Oh, damn. Uh, okay. because I tried to fire this guy, okay? Um, because while you try to fire, some other things happen. And so if we don't use Hanzo, we should have a better time um, doing it. And so we'll try. So we'll just try to do it the right way. Sorry about it, my dog is getting completely idiot because someone 
is doing some work in the neighboring apartment and he thinks that there is someone at the door. Um, yeah, that's, well, he's a Jack Russell anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, um, quickly, it to Deal some damage and uh, I lost uh, Ivan. But it's okay, and now I can use his skill if I want. Ah, but so you really want to not be using too much his uh, e skills because. It's quite a lot of time, a loss of time to do it. Um, so yeah, um, you can also check the skills of your heroes uh, in this area um, here in the homeland thing, and we can see that here it's only level three, and you need to reach level sixty to level up the skill. Um, and so you can uh, check all the skills and decide. How we can build your uh, your troops uh, for the homeland thing? Um, and so, as you can see, it's really all on the level. Um, so that being said, that was it for the campaign things. Um, the campaign is the place to go to level up your heroes fast. Um, as well as doing your dailies, uh, your um, all those little things, you know, um, it's by doing those that you will uh, really push your heroes and progress into the game because your efficiency to the game is really linked to your heroes. Because um, your heroes, they do bring so much. They don't even only bring the ability to um, conduct more forces and deal more damage in battle. Um, they will maybe decrease your losses a little bit sometime. Um, they will give you bonuses for your economics, uh, generic bonuses to your troops. Um, and they will make your time so much easier that, um, for example, if you have bad heroes, you may have to often heal, return to your turf to refresh your troops, things like that. Um, when you have a good setup of heroes, you can have many marches uh, fighting at the same time, doing all the events way faster. I mean, for example, um, Let's say you want to do um, the Barbarian Hunt event. Um, if you do it with three marches, it's really not the same as if you do it with one march. Um, it will go way faster to do it with uh, three combat marches ready. Um, and you will do it basically three times as fast. Um, so when you can't um, basically be playing all day long, uh, just use many marches. But for that, you need the good heroes. You, could, you need the good set of heroes. And for that, you need to be active in the campaign, um, in the dailies, uh, in everything. So I hope this uh, small video, well, a 30 minute video did help you um, and I'll see you into the game. Just leave a comment if you need uh, other specific videos. Uh, this video was a request that I got in game. Um, so goodbye all and I'll see you in game.